Firstly, select the mahogany to use for cladding the boiler. Discard any warped or discoloured pieces. When you're happy with your selection, using the boiler as a template, mark a length of mahogany strip to the length of the boiler. Cut the mahogany strip on the bandsaw. And after you've cut the strip, do a test fit on the boiler to make sure it's definitely the right length because you do not want to cut many of them the wrong length. This clip shows cutting the mahogany in quantity. I usually cut about six at a time, using the piece that I already cut as a template for the rest. Repeat this process until you have enough mahogany strip to go all the way around the boiler. You could work out how many you need mathematically. I tend to just do it from experience. If you cut too many, don't worry because you do need some for the condenser also. Needless to say, when using bandsaws or any other power tool, safety glasses must be worn and be very, very careful with your fingers. You do not want to cut your finger on the bandsaw. This is a small drum sander. I use this for rounding the edges of the mahogany strip. You will notice a lot of mahogany dust floating about in the air around the drill. So when using this tool, it is recommended to wear a mask. Take the first piece of mahogany strip, cut and profile one end to match the radius of the chimney fitting. Then lay the strip on top of the boiler, parallel with this centre line. If you don't have a centre line, I suggest you mark one on the boiler before you start. The bushes on this boiler are both a different size, but the mahogany needs to be parallel to the centre line. So make a curved recess in the mahogany to allow for the larger bush. For these kind of operations, I use one of these. It's my little mini craft drill. Once the mahogany strip sits parallel with the centre line, cut it to length on the bandsaw and stick the strip in place with cyanoacrylate adhesive. I find cyanoacrylate adhesive the most useful of all adhesives for what I'm doing. Although it initially sticks to the copper, allowing us to sand the boiler clad into shape, but when the boiler is in use, the cyano will part company from the copper itself. The mahogany is held in place by brass banding anyway. So should you need to remove the mahogany at any time, for such as a pressure test, the mahogany will come off in sections, and can be refitted at a later date. Once the first strip of mahogany is fitted to the boiler, leave it for a while for the cyano to harden, then mark out the next piece. Same process, mark the end, use the drum sander, cut to length, and then secure in place with cyanoacrylate adhesive. Get into the habit of doing a dry run before applying the cyano, just to make sure the piece you have cut is a good fit on the boiler. A steam boiler with mahogany cladding is the focal point of a model steam launch. So take your time with this and make sure you get a very neat end result.